Hi, my name is Yusuf Yagi, and my email is yusufyagi90 at gmail.com. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to edit the Grub bootloader. I want Windows 7 to boot by default. Alright, so um, this has worked on all the Ubuntu's I've tried and I am currently using Ubuntu 11.4. First of all, you're going to have uh, what you're going to have to do is uh, restart your computer. Take a look at your grub. Uh, press the uh, up or down key. To stop the timer, oops, sorry. Now your grub is basically gonna look like this. Let me just gimp. I don't know why this keeps on doing that. Alright, so this is basically how your GIMP looks like. I currently have Ubuntu, Windows uh, Recovery, and then Windows 7. Yours might have Windows Recovery, might have Windows 7, Windows XP, it doesn't matter. It all works the same. Alright, let me change to red, and uh, where did it go? The brush. Okay, so to us, Ubuntu, this is number one, two, three, four, five, and six. There are six options to us, but to uh, a programmer and computers and Ubuntu and Grub, they like to include the number zero. So this is number zero, this is one. This is two, this is three, this is four, and this is five. As I said, yours might be four, yours might be six. Uh, six options, seven options, ten options, it doesn't matter. Alright, so you've got zero, one, two, three, four, five. I want Windows 7 to boot by default. So my number is number five. It from here. Alright, so there are two ways you could access the terminal by going up here to the top left and searching for terminal, or what I like to do is always use shortcuts Control Alt T. Alright, I'm actually going to make this a bit smaller. Sorry about that. I'm, doing, I'm recording in HD, so it's not covering the whole screen. And oh, great! All right, let's do it perfect like this. All right. So, typically, if you're not new to, uh, if you're new to Ubuntu, you would want to copy the grub file to the desktop, like this sudo cp copy and then find the file it's going to be uh, under root boot and then grub and then type grub.cfg space and where you're going to dump it paste it i'm going to put it in desktop um, so you go home yusuf uh, or your username and then desktop capital uh, D your password and then paste it as you could see your grub uh, file is here now now you could sudo to edit it sudo g edit we're gonna open the ed editor sorry we're gonna go to where we dump the file desktop and then grub 
cfg. Alright, um, first of all, let me show you this. It's telling you warning, 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 blah, blah, blah. It does not matter. It's still gonna work. Alright, so let's make this bigger. Set default. Mine is number 5. It's uh, currently at 0, the default, which is Ubuntu. Mine is going to be number 5, yours could be 4. And then I would like to do something extra and actually change the timer. Uh, since uh, a couple of people use my computer, I am going to change it to 5 seconds instead of 10, which is the default. Default 10, I'm changing it to 5. That way, uh, they don't really get a feel of grub. Um, they'll still be reading it. And then Control S, Control F save and then exit now let's clear all this rubbish now let's copy it from the desktop back to the grub file uh, folder sorry so we sudo always sudo because you need the root uh, permissions alright uh, cp it is under home for me yusuf desktop uh, grub.cfg Remember the space, it's kind of like two uh, root um, boot grub, and it's basically uh, done. You're done. But now, what I want to show you is instead of doing all that, once you become more familiar, you could just go sudo gedit and then just go directly to the file. Yeah grub and then grub dot cfg and you could edit it see it cop uh, proved that it copied it is the changes we made are there now exit clear to um, look at it without editing it it's basically the exact same thing see what's over here I did is I pressed the up uh, arrow twice to see the command I typed before it's a nice uh, tool in Linux All right, I hit enter over here it became read only so no matter what I do I don't have access to changing it now all we gotta do is clear, exit, and basically restart your computer. Oh, delete this. You don't need it anymore. Restart your computer and let the magic happen. Thank you for watching and happy computing.